Great stuff. Well, hello, Dave. Uh, it's a bit like family fortunes because you're over in Sligo and I'm in the, in Manchester. But would you like to introduce yourself, please? Yeah. So Dave McAvoy from DMAC Media, web design, e-commerce, digital marketing agency. Um, as, as the Sligo alludes to, we're actually an Irish company. We've been on the go since 2006. And in 2022, we decided that Manchester was going to be our next great spot or, or place to open up. So we've been in operating in the UK since 2022. Very open and looking for business. Very much interested in SME, small businesses, people who are independents out there making their own way just like us and yeah looking to to get connected great great and and dmac so obviously dave mcavoy i assume that's where the name comes from uh but how did you it, get yeah. to that position how did you get to that position when you started the company how did we come up with the name oh no well no uh how would where where did you where were you before that uh before you started the company right okay okay so i would have worked in design field advertising um more from the industrial side of things but right. through the the company would have worked in believe it or not tiling manufacture ceramics manufacture so commercial flooring designs um if ever you walk into a shopping mall and see intricate patterns on the floor that would have been very much yeah. my background so some right. if you're coming from a programming background but also into the design and wanted to really get more into the visual and graphic design so through the company work for started working on websites. Now this is back in the early noughties when nobody actually thought there was a career in web design and <laughs> developed a bit of freelance and, and really just grew it out from there. Partnered up with the other mm -hmm. half of DMAC, which is Brian Kelly. Again, similarly just grew up programming and, and coding before it was something that was, was cool. And then got into websites. We went kind of sole trading partnership back in 2006. And then very quickly, two years later, we had to move into limited. And now there's a, a 15 strong team just beavering away. Brilliant. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very organic Great. and just very yeah. much loved the, the flexibility and the power of online. Yeah, fantastic. And you know, we have, well, you don't you don't know because you've not been to a lunch yet, but we ask a personal question because one of the things we believe in the business network is people by people. You know, that's the, the whole heart of networking. Yeah. So what do you do in your spare time? What do you do when you're not working? I'd be tempted to give the, the small business answer of what's spare time and, and where can I get some? <laughs> but if and if and when, um, you'll find me mostly, I'll play guitar, I'll, I'll find a bit of time for that. Um, do like to get my hand at a little bit of woodworking here and there, so I'd, I'd be a hobbyist. Um, in years gone by, I would have been a big fan of Toastmasters and, and been up and down in the, the local club. Right. I, I haven't managed to get back yeah. to Toastmasters in a couple of years, but would have actually competed in the UK when when the Irish and English Toastmasters ran the same competition. So my, my claim to fame would have been placing second in the national competition there. So I, I missed out right. in Cincinnati. Wow. I missed out to a man who drank a pint of neat scotch whiskey on the stage. So hard hard to beat. <laughs> I'd love to have heard his name. Mm. Um, but uh, the interesting thing about COVID was we found out how many members actually play the guitar. Because <laughs> when you had a meet, when you had a meeting, there was so many guitars in the background. It's unbelievable. So, yeah, yeah. so you you're in good company there. Good. So good. Next next question is: uh, Can you recommend a podcast? Do you do much listening to podcasts? I do actually. I do, and again. It, depends on on what mood i'm in so I'd, I'd be a big how stuff works fan but that's just natural curiosity recently i've been listening to mark Marin, um an american comedian uh, very right. good more for his interviews he seems to have talked to everybody from all walks of life for all sorts of reasons they're just yeah. just very entertaining long form you know an hour and a half where you've got 60 minutes of, of listening to someone very interesting just talking about their life in general so yeah i'd say if 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 you're into if you're driving and you need to Tune into something for an yeah. hour and relax. Mark Marin would be a, it, it's a WTF, and I'll let you figure out what that stands for. Right. Okay, right. Yes, thank you for that. So, and uh, books. Uh, could you recommend a book to us? I currently am working my way through Sapiens. I uh, got it for Christmas, and it's like, like everybody else, unfortunately, the phone screen now takes up a little more time than the page. But yeah, yeah, yeah just, just creeping my way through that. Very enjoyable. So it's, um, yeah, again, it's nonfiction, but really intriguing yeah. look at, at just how we think we've evolved or how we've got, you know, from the 
agricultural revolution, industrial, etc. Just how we got from yeah. caves to right here, right now. So yeah, yes. very interesting. Great, great. And the final question is, have you any words of wisdom for us? Uh, yes, too many, probably, and no more than everybody else. I've heard all the cliches too. You know, there is something to be said that, that a, a wise man will stay silent whilst a fool will speak and confirm the fact. But not to, rather than avoid the question, I'd say, really, it's, it's going to go with that old the Zuckerberg quote, done is better than perfect. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good. That is a good one. That is a good one. And and it is amazing the number of these I've done that people have come up with different different sayings or different uh, suggestions for it. You know. So, uh, but yeah. no, Dave, thank you so much for taking part in our six simple questions. It's been great. Most welcome. Thank you very Most much. Welcome. Okay. Thanks, Simon. Bye.